Lord, all praises and glory go to our mighty power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and sincerity and truth. Um, with this great gospel coming out of the Bible. Bible. That's the only place you're going to get this type of information, prophecy. <laughs> That's the only place you're going to get this type of history. That's the only place you're going to find out things about the future, man. That things ain't even happened yet, only in the Bible. And it's a lot of books try to mimic the Bible, try to copy the Bible. But guess what? This can't be reduplicated. Why? Because this is from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh These are not our words. <laughs> it's not like we made these things up man, for to feel good. No, the Lord put a spirit in certain men and they woke up from their slumber. And now they're occupied in what prophecy? They're occupied in this gospel, man. That's what it's all about. And you're supposed to continue in the faith. You're supposed to endure. <laughs> you're supposed to put on that 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 armor of the Lord, man. Be ready for this battle because this is a battle. It says um, the Lord woke up and it's, he's, his army after the during the prompt when when the men are prophesying. That's an army being put together. <laughs> that's a nation being resurrected. You look, we're dealing with right now, man, with the Israelites waking up. I'm going to read the book of, let's go to Colossians 1 and 23. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled. If you're really in this truth, you're grounded and settled. You're not going to be moved. You're not going to be, be sh sh shaken to and fro with all different forms of doctrine. That's what happens. You're in this truth and then you hear something bullish. You hear some bullshit and your mind starts actually believing that madness, some fable, some made up doctrine some commandments of men that's what he, it's a lot of you people man you, you dick ride motherfuckers all you, you looking for some man to to please your thoughts to make you feel good make you feel happy no uh, it ain't about feeling happy it's about returning to the lord that's what it's all about fuck your feelings push that shit to the side because um yeah you're gonna be offended you're gonna be hurt you're gonna go through poverty you're gonna go through loss of things so you got to push your emotions to the side and um deal with it Read the book of um, Colossians 1 and 23 again. If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, the hope of this good news for the kingdom of heaven for us forever and ever and ever. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's coming. Perfection forever and ever and ever. It says hope of the gospel, which ye have heard. How did we hear it? Through the mouths of the prophets. Through the mouths of the prophets who are back right now today which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven wherefore i paul am made a minister yeah we got to continue in this faith we got to endure hardness as a good soldier of mashiach yeah, of, of the lord hey you gotta just like our lord suffered you gotta put it put your mind in the same mind state you're gonna suffer you're gonna go through tribulations <laughs> But guess what? You got to continue in the faith. This Second Timothy three and fourteen. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing whom thou hast learned and from the elders and the apostles of great millstone. That's who we learn this gospel from, and they learned it from their elders and them, their elders. <laughs> and this truth is continued spreading, <laughs> spreading like a wildfire. And then it didn't take four or five hundred years to spread like that bullshit ass Christianity. Really. It, that Christianity been going since what 333 BC um AD 330 AD ever since Constantine that Christianity been being pushed and then Esau took the took over the earth during the 12 1300s and he he he, he reformed it he repackaged it <laughs> changed the images changed the faces and then put himself <laughs> put himself of he's the face of Christianity right now so we already know the Lord ain't dealing with that spirit, man. The Lord ain't dealing with no Christianity. The Lord's waking up his elect out of the children of Israel, man. Yasharala. Read 2 Timothy 3 and 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of. Yeah, we are sure of the things we're saying. Through the spirit, we're sure of it. Through faith, we are sure of it. And through um the things we have seen, man. Everything links up with what history. <laughs> Everything links up with the geography. Everything links up with the prophecies, man. Even Esau knows his Bible is the number one book, man. The bestseller. 
but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them yeah you just listen to anybody talk you, you you don't look at that man look at the spirit that's within that person that's speaking <laughs> that's what you got to look at their spirit is that is that the spirit of the bible are they coming out of this book <laughs> if they're not coming out of this book they gotta go they gotta go and they gotta break it down correctly correctly dividing and separating the gospel i'm gonna go to second timothy let me go back to 12 it says yea and all that will live godly in the mashiach yahweh shall suffer persecution <laughs> i'm gonna read that again yea and all that will live godly in the mashiach yahweh shall suffer persecution yeah put that in your mind prepare to suffer <laughs> prepare to go through the trials and the tribulations so you can attain your crown your everlasting crown of immort immortality that's what we're looking for immortality but evil men and seducers show what wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived but continue thou in the things which thou has learned and has been assured of knowing of whom thou has learned them yeah that's what it's all about and that from a child thou has known the holy scriptures yeah we all are babes we all are babes man you once you come into truth, we are our babes. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through the faith, which is in a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. All scriptures is given by the inspiration of the Most High, Yahweh, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yeah, in righteousness. That the man of the Most High may be perfect truly furnished unto all good works man that's what it's all about man instruction doctrine correction reproof righteousness anything outside of that circle man is what death is death and i'm not i'm not i don't want to i don't want to die even the bone thugs and army say i don't want to die hell no fuck that we, we looking for eternal eternal life we looking man we looking for um immortality immortality i love that word it says, um, 1 Timothy 6 and 12, fight the good fight. What you're supposed to do, fight the good fight of faith. Yeah, endure, endure, suffer, deal with the tribulations, deal with the loneliness, deal with the loss of things, <laughs> deal with being hated. Yeah, you got to take the low route. Yeah, you got to get humble. You got to take the low route. That, that's who the Lord is dealing with, the lowly. Lord ain't dealing with no high, mighty, proud motherfucker. Lord finna kill that motherfucker. Yeah, that's what's about to happen. First Timothy 6 and 12, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called. We're called to this <laughs> ministry to be what? Delivered. Some are called to be delivered and some are called to be destroyed. The ones that are called to be delivered are the ones who are going to endure and continue. But the ones who are going to be destroyed are the ones who are going to fall off. We're going to get weak. We're going to get, um, emo well, I'm not emotional. We're everybody's emotion, but you're going to get fucking feeble. That's that. You're going to get feeble, man. Spiritually feeble. And you're going to give up. And guess what? The Lord's going to fuck you up because you didn't continue in what? <laughs> the faith. You didn't continue in the faith, man. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life whereunto thou has, thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses yeah push this word man push this gospel and nothing else matters man you want the kingdom push this gospel jeremiah 50 and 2 declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard publish and conceal not man push this word prophesy let these heathens know they they world is coming to an end let the two-thirds know they about to die let the one third know salvation and redemption is nigh, man. The Lord is with us. Is with us, man. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish, conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Bell is confounded. Moradoc is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. Yeah. Letting you know, man, this is the end of this kingdom. Her idols are being broken right now. Man. That spirit of Egypt is failing. Egypt is erring in every work, man. They they just can't get their shit together. You got laughing Kamala. You got sleepy, creepy Joe. There's no way this kingdom can continue with these type of people in, in power. 
for these type of people in power to rap. I'm reading it again. It says, declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish, conceal not, say Babylon is taken, Bell is confounded, Mordorak is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded, her images are what? Broken in pieces, man. It's a rap for this place. And we, that's, that's what we got to declare. That's what we got to declare. This is the book of Psalm 68 and 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company that what? That published it, man. Push this word, man. What the fuck, fuck else is you doing? Oh, man, I got to go play with my kids. Man, I got to go play. Man, fuck your kids, nigga. <laughs> I know, brother, man. You know, I got to go to work, brother, man. You know, they, they I got to work more hours this week. Man, fuck your job. Yeah, fuck your life. <laughs> fuck your life. If you ain't about the Lord, nigga, fuck you. <laughs>